Someone had a good point um, <laughs> in the comments was that if these tigers can't swim, how did they get to the islands in the first place? Oh no, we've got some attention here. Uh, we're gonna just keep going, which is kind of a terrible idea, but without having a lot of melee abilities. Kinda thinking we can just, yeah, let this guy drop off of us. There we go. Alright, so we need Hexed Trolls, Voodoo Trolls, and we need Zelzane's head. We have to find Mincha's skull near a, a pile of other bones, I think, um, his brother had said? Who we got the quest from? Well, there's a voodoo troll, and here is a hexed troll. Let's find our range here. And we'll find out what these guys do. We're kind of worried that at least somebody here is going to heal. Well, that's Immolate. They can go ahead and cast Immolate, it's just giving us more time to shoot them. And they don't know it, but right now that's the worst thing they could be giving us, is just time to shoot at them from range. If they were smart, they would probably forego the, the Immolate and they would close the gap. Oh, we missed our concussive shot. Ugh. I don't like when that happens. That's one of those painful misses. There's the huge heal. Uh, on the worst... The worst guy I could have been on was the guy who did not let us get a bunch of shots and at range. Uh, he heals himself. So the voodoo trolls are going to heal themselves. We're going to have to fight seven more of them. It's going to get fun. Yeah, you go ahead and just run away, and we will do that. And there we go. The problem, of course, is that we didn't exactly bring a lot of water with us. That's the big problem happening right now, with this whole approach. Also, do we have better food than the bread? Mmm, no. We don't. So we need food and water, and we need we need first aid, basically, immediately. I don't really want to get into the middle of their village if I can avoid it. I'd love to be able to work around the outsides. Not picking off guys like this. Alright, so he is going to heal. Will Concussive Shot stop spellcasting? It doesn't, it doesn't say so. It dazes them, so maybe. Let's... Should we save it? Well, you know what? It's not going to matter because he's never going to heal at range. And we're probably not going to be able to get range on him while he's casting enough to cast Concussive Shot. Maybe we could. Maybe we could run, turn, and shoot it before the cast finishes, but... I don't think it's very likely. We are definitely going to need that. Maybe we'll get lucky with some more water drops. If I pull the guys that are on these platforms, are they going to bug out or are they going to actually try to run down and attack me? Yeah. 
I don't want that other one to pull on us, so we're going to back it up. Oh, God, it hurts. We need a pet. We need a pet right now. But we're not going to get one right now. We're not going to get one for two more levels. So there's that. Yep, fighting these guys is not fun. It always feels really bad in Classic not to have a tool that you can use to deal with a situation. Whether it's not having a snare to slow a runner, or not having an interrupt to stop a caster from healing himself to full, not once, but twice. And excuse me, he's not healing himself to full, but he's healing himself for a substantial amount. Just feels bad to not be able to do anything about it. Oh, where are you going? What are you doing? Okay. I guess all we could do through that is just auto attack him and not use mana. That's gonna be like the way we recover the fastest from these fights. Also, we need to find more hex trolls. We haven't been running into a lot. I didn't think this would happen, but um, it might be more pertinent that we're going to run out of food before we run out of water. Um, hmm. Disgusting. I can tell I'm used to playing on a priest with uh, high mana regen. Okay, if I can't hit her short of like having to go in there, then I don't think we're gonna pull her. Yeah, I don't think so. That's I don't have any range there. Um, that just feels like a bad choice. Uh, this one looks much more appealing. Anybody hanging out behind these trees? Doesn't look like it.
Oh, we also got the passive ability. I don't know why I just realized this. We also got the passive ability to parry back at level 8. Rather, back when we attained level 8, since we are in fact still level 8. There's Zalzane right there. Let's pull this guy uh, while he's away. With any luck, this will be the last voodoo troll that we have to fight. Uh, with any luck. I mean, or he'll kill us, and we'll have to fight him again. One of those two things is going to happen. And apparently it's going to be close, because, yeah, he's... I mean, damn, he might... he's going to kill us. <laughs> Unreal. Unreal, guys. Two heals? He gets to heal twice? Why does he get to heal twice? I think once is enough. Honestly. Oh, he dropped. Oh, good for him. Uh, so what are we going to do differently? Mm, get lucky? I don't know. I'm going to do everything exactly the same way. And we're going to have to get luckier on the RNG. We had to run all the way out. Yeah, we needed a big crit there on Raptor Strike to finish him off. And now if he heals again, we're screwed. We're in the same exact position we were already in. He dodged that ability. That could have that could have helped us out a lot had that hit. This is just not going well with this guy. What is he? He's level 9? We're level 8. I mean, we got him, I guess, but... Let's, let's hope Zelzane can't heal himself, I guess. Because if he can, we are screwed. We also haven't found this guy's skull. What does this quest say exactly? From a circle of power. Maybe, oh, maybe it's right up here. Ooh, there we go. Well, I don't know if that's it. That's probably it. See how the icon turns into a gear? I bet that's the skull. All right, where is Zelzane? Zala Zane. I am I have been omitting that A, haven't I? Let's do it. Oh, he's level 10. Oh god, he made us small. You don't you don't like that. It just seems bad that now he's enormous. It's like the size of a boss. He gave us less trouble than the Witch Doctor gave us. So there's that. Alright, opening the pile of skulls reveals Mincha's skull. What do we still need? We need hex trolls.
This debuff is kind of awful, and I would love for it to go away. These are all voodoo trolls. There's a hex troll out on the outskirts. Can we circle around to get to her? Oh, we could just take the one right here. It's fine, too. Uh, I'm going to let this tick down. Looked like we had annoyed him for a minute, but I guess he was just being a spaz up there. Alright, 10 seconds. Bear with me, guys. Let's get our ideal range here. Oh no. Okay. Oh good, we didn't we didn't aggro this guy. Whew. Well that was a little bit closer than it needed to be. And with that I guess we could uh, we could say goodbye to this charming place. No doubt maybe he's trying to summon Hakar here or something of that nature. And what are we doing? We're heading back to Senjin Village, which is this way. So let's go the way we were going before we turned around. And we'll try to cut through here without, uh, without aggroing anybody, if possible. Looks like maybe a couple of tigers. But we know they can't swim, so if we can make it to the water, we'll be safe. In real life, yeah, like someone pointed out, they'd probably just come into the water and continue thrashing us. Let's give it a little look and see who's playing today at, in this zone at this level. Sometimes I just like to check the activity of people in the game through the leveling progress to kind of keep an eye on the state of the game on this server. Right now we are playing the most played class, which is, uh, though that makes sense, it is a hunter. Pretty sure it has traditionally always been the, the highest or one of the highest played classes. We are going to skin some of these guys. Because why not? Somebody was kind enough to leave them. So we will take their skins. One warlock, no mages. It disturbs me that like while we're swimming our character can't keep her like mouth or nose above the water. I'm constantly thinking that we're drowning, but we're not. <laughs> like, that is not how you swim um, and breathe at the same time. It just isn't. Thank you, you have saved Minisha. You have saved my brother's spirit from slavery. I thank you, and my brother thanks you. Oh, look at that. His spirit just gets to show up. Well, saying hi from the Shadowlands, I guess. Oh no! I didn't get our last hex troll? Oh my god. I'm sure you guys were yelling at me there. Let's go take care of that real fast. 
All right. Well, that'll teach me not to triple check my quest log before I run back. With the Zalzane gone, our tribe can again sleep in peace. Thank you. The Dark Spear tribe owes you much. If you suffer from an ailment, visit my assistant Bombay behind me. His voodoo is strong. All right. Well, let's take the gloves. And we will also go ahead and make sure to use an armor kit on those. Every little bit of armor will help. We also gained level 9, which is awesome. And there was a quest. Oh, you you are not willing to give us your quest yet. Hmm. Okay then, so maybe that's a level 10 quest? However, right now we have Encroachment, which is up near Razor Hill. We have Dark Storms, which is the one we haven't checked out yet for the Burning Blade. And then we have Vanquish the Betrayers, uh, which is over at the Human Keep. So for the time being, at least until we hit a level where we can do this quest over here, we are done in this general area. Uh, let's sell everything we have that we don't need. I don't think we can use swords right now, but I'm pretty sure we can train swords. And I think we can train swords in Orgrimmar. I'm gonna hang on to this for a minute. I mean, it, well, it has stamina on it, which everybody needs stamina. Alright, we're gonna buy some better food, so I'll sell what we have. Really sticky glue renders a target unable to move for 10 seconds. That might come in useful. Keep that for the time being. And let, let's go ahead and hearth up to Razor Hill. Uh, not sell our hearth. Let's actually use it. I will say goodbye to Senjin Village for now. Alright, so I, I think the next thing we will do is we'll take on the Razormane Quillbores. If I remember correctly, they're just going to be out to the west of town here. Hoping that will get us level 10. And once we get our pet, we can go ahead and um, we can finish up Vanquish the Betrayers. So that is the plan for next time. Thank you guys so much for joining me today. As always, I really appreciate all the support, all the comments. Keep them coming. Let me know what you think. I would really like to hear from you. So take care of yourselves out there and take care of each other. And we will see you back in Azeroth really soon. Bye now.